second monitor. That is the dream of all people who are able to use a second monitor. To one. <laughs> that is it. We're allowed to take them home when we're working from home during this pandemic. And so, damn it, I'm going to use it when I can. Hey, look, this is work, just not, you know, work, work. Yeah, there you go. You are practicing your. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, but I was asking because, um, well. The one I'm looking for in specifics is. Um... did the thing where I drew on the map where I was trying to move my, um, my thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so just click on it and delete. Press the delete button on your keyboard. Ah. It happens. I do it a lot. I was also, bad at I, that stuff. I can't move the gem that's on the screen. You Go should be able to... I can drag one over. Yeah, drag one over. I will delete the one that you can't move. Yeah. Okay. They were just there so that I could make a placeholder. I have to have one out on the field in order to like set it as the token. It just happened. And when you have a chance, could you make Drago for me? That is also the thing. I have. I put it somewhere and I don't know where. There's two of me. There are. Uh, which one is the one you can move? The one that's still there is the one I, can, I cannot do anything with. Alright, I'm gonna just change that one so you can do something with it. But, uh... What was it? Whenever we enter a new uh, map, feel free to drag one over from your journal. Alright. Okay. And did I... Who is all echoey? I got it. Um, is it me? Go and, and you, um, roll 20 probably. Ooh, I might have to as well. So, the same place where you got the names only thing, uh -huh. go all the way down, and I went to broadcast, change that to nothing, and I went to receive nothing. It is the best way to go. Thanks, bud. Everybody's so nice and helpful. I love D&D. &D. It is a community game. As long as you don't have a book thumper. Yeah, okay. can't get your connector dialed. Mine will bring you back. Yeah, someone who's like, but that's not how it is in the book. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be willing to be loose. The rules are there as guidelines, not as stringent laws. My favorite thing the DMs do are when they're like, I mean, not technically supposed to happen, but that's fun. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we we do that a lot here. Yeah. That's how. Allowed to sit here and drink my margarita. Where. We're okay. Uh, Hell, you're allowed to sit in the game and drink your margaritas. <laughs> you have to roll all of your dice into the margarita now. Speaking of, uh, I didn't ask Jewel, did you have your stuff ready? Or did you I, just watch it? I sort of did, be, but the problem is... Did you make tweets? I did go with tweets. Which reminds me, I need to bring over this. I did. I did. Oh. Boop. Oh. I'm sorry. Boop. That's a good boop. idea. <laughs> okay, I have this. I'll do it for the next. Um, and there we go. Yeah, I'll do it for the next. But it, but guy, boy. Because I wanted to do crazy idea. That crazy idea was at the first one. One of yeah. them. Because why not? Let me let it be a freaking. Age has to have someone that does the pyrotechnics. Gotcha. Why not make it? Just why not add to this? I say why do I don't add? Why don't? Why don't add to this? Fusion. Will this be every Wednesday or every other Wednesday? 
every Wednesday is when we usually try to do D&D. Yep, depending on the number of people who show up, depends on the adventure we end up doing. Yeah. Speaking of, I gotta be a dragon for a second. Okay. So he's gonna mute himself. What does that mean? It's when he turns on his torch to stab. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I ever said who I was. No, I don't think I. I only have written down here, um, Liss, Nagi, and me. All right, so I am Ivica. Oh God, um, let me get my pen. You're who? Ivica. I apostrophe V I T S A. Um, I'm a pale purple tiefling. Um, I'm a druid. Of well, of a different class than you might know. Uh, I have a companion though, which is my zombie lion, and uh, we are okay with death and life. So that should be fun going forward. So if you die, I could bring you back to life, but you'll just be a zombie. <laughs> I so what you're saying is you're a very very late cleric. I'm a very what cleric? Late. <laughs> Technically, if I bring you back to life, I lose Drago, and I'm not gonna do that. So <gasps> yeah, I'm not mean... coming back. If you come back, you're my companion. Can I? Can I also just say there's a very good reason why I took as a spell that I have speak with animals. Yay! All of the animals. That that'd be that's interesting. I wonder if. Oh no! DM I'm muted. I'm muted. Hold on. Wait. I can't hear you. What? I wonder. I wonder if the DM is going to consider Drago an animal or more class oh. undead. I hope so, because if not, I'm going to be talking to every animal we see. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's both undead as well as not undead. Because it's it's not dead, but it's also a lion, so therefore it qualifies both. That's true. We'll just have to see if, if Drago actually responds to you. Well, actually, we'll find out. Usually in the case of undead, it depends on how well they were brought back, which determines their intelligence and if they can actually understand you regardless if you're able to speak with them or not. Hmm. So we have to figure out that's, that's just me being a stickler. So we should then figure out how shitty a Vista is. A Vista. That's not your name. A, vi a Vista. A Vista. You know, we're, we're not going to call her Windows Vista. <laughs> <laughs> People call me Vista. I will, I will sick Drago on you. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to be friends because I talked to him. You'll see. <laughs> oh, God. This is... This is Act, this is the custom class and subclass that I've made, so Ooh, this fun. is pretty much a test. I'm back. Welcome back, Dippy. You should explain your character real quick. Yeah. Oh. A gird. I don't have her fully figured out yet. <laughs> well, that's your story then. Okay, whatever I have her is like still in the fucking trunk. Like someone stuffed her in there because they're just like they couldn't they couldn't deal with her anymore. <laughs> So, so someone in the corner will just stop her in a trunk, and she's still there, and she's probably been there for <laughs> generations. <laughs> People don't remember, you know, the person that stuck her in there is most likely old, dead, and gone. So, so I stuck her. Trunk? So legitimately, I thought she was a mannequin, and I stuck her in the trunk. <laughs> probably. Yeah, she was probably in her rest mode where she wasn't supposed, where she, you're supposed to sleep. Not sleeping, but rest. I, I'm totally okay with taking the heat for stuffing her in a, in, in a trunk and still being there now that she's in. Just, she escaped from the trunk. <laughs> Question: Does she have a name yet? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hold on, I had to get to hear some. It's underneath her image. <coughs> what was it? <coughs> Azuva Ada. Oh, that's oh, yeah, I remember that now. Mm -hmm. Azuda? Azuba. Az Azuba. Azuba. You just call her Ada. Okay. Or whatever you want to call her. But yeah, I don't think anyone really knows that she's there. <laughs> or knows her. 
you probably heard stories if you like Chris, like I know one of your characters was born and raised there. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah I've prob probably heard depending on how long the, the, the thing has been here, I've probably been since with the circus since it started. I'm two hundred and fifteen years old. No. Oh. Okay, yeah. Then yes, um I'm one fifty. Oh, you're young. You'll learn. <laughs> I'm how old did I say I was? <laughs> Alyssa, how old am I? It's on your character sheet. Yeah, but I'm not at my character sheet right now. I'm at like where it has all of my interactable stuff. Where, where, where? Description. 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 No, I mean like I'm at the sheet where it has like, it's on the website, not the PDF. Yeah. yeah. Description. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, I'm 35. I'm 35. I am. What did I say? Oh, I didn't. I think I'm like mid 40s. Who said that? Ivita's mid 40s. Correction 130, not 150. <laughs> Where also, do I pick spells? You drew an arrow through me. I'm gonna deflect missiles on that. <laughs> uh, I've already pierced. All right. So who knew my character beforehand? I did. Oh wait. Oh, like in game. All right. I will be right back. I'm gonna go outside and bathe. I'm allowed to bathe in the house because upstairs neighbor is douche. So when I get back, I will explain wedge. Yay. So how long have you been in the thing? Oh, for probably like a good couple hundred years. <laughs> Okay, then I've probably heard stories. Yeah, so like... Um... I probably did it when I was brand new. Yeah, probably. Like, how you... Cause usually, um... Instead of sleeping, our kind kinda just like... Stops. Scopers. <laughs> so you probably just like, oh, you just stuffed her in. I mean, my character was... Should have been aware of it though, so I don't know. Oh, maybe she was sleeping in her trunk and you actually locked it. I was hired as a laborer. <laughs> That's what I started at. Alright, so you call it, okay, we'll say that you, um, not knowing that she was in there, uh, resting, she, uh, you locked it and stuffed it, and you know, you were, because we were a traveling circus most likely, so you probably were just pack, packing everything. <laughs> And she was sitting there. But she is yeah. a uh, Shinigami. She, um, that means that she has a master. We, um, I think we have it since she's a warlock that her god, the person that she gives her the powers or whatever, is her master. But she's kind of like Zim, Invader Zim, where she's, um, not really wanted. They kind of just want her to go away and do something over there. So I wanted her to have some random ass task that she either had to do that took a very long time to do or something, but I still haven't figured that out yet. Did you say you were a wizard or a warlock? Warlock. Okay. At least I think that's what she was. Yes. Ivica is the lion tamer, by the way. <laughs> Just that to... wasn't obvious by the fact that you have a pet lion. Yeah. Do you tame live ant lions or just dead lions? Ow! The real question is well, which is more impressive? I mean... Off. Get off. I'm okay with other animals. It's just... I have... I have Drago with me to... Help... Share my druidic message. Uh, which is... That there is beauty in all things, not just things of life, but death is just a part of life, and that and therefore it has beauty. So I merge the two to show that they are, in essence, both beautiful in their own right. So I find that my my druidic circle finds beauty in death and life, and tries to merge the both. You don't know anything about my pre-carnival time, though. 
Yes. Yeah, on my pre-carnival time would would have just been I was a, I was more of a hermit. At least what you would know was that she's more of a hermit. Um, she came to the carnival with Drago. She was he was already her companion. He knew he was already undead. Um, you would so get along with my old uh, snake character. Oh yeah, your snake, your uh, Yolanti druid. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Man, I remember, I remember talking about that that character. That's a good one. Oh, you Guys, like I lost my pen. Oh yeah, I like her. Oh no. <laughs> I always go in. I always go into D and D sessions like, man, I'm gonna take notes this time, and then I just am too busy and I'm just like, oh, I mean, I'll remember it. I've already taken about a half a page of notes. Yeah. Tony wrote on his notes in where I put my notes. <laughs> Ew. Right? The fuck? Destroy him. Fucking Tony. You know, Gamma says that I complain about him a lot, and I blame him for reasons, but there's reasons, because he's usually the reason. <laughs> you do blame Tony for a lot, though. But he does all the things! <laughs> but he does all the things! <laughs> on my book! You know, you know what this sounds like to me, folks? That's a good marriage right there. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Because you know that... He's just the worst, and yes, <laughs> you're still there. <laughs> yeah, because he's my worst. Uh-huh, exactly. Yuck. <laughs> nah, he's good. He's a good kid. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Who just wretched? <laughs> Happy couples are disgusting. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, we're not. We're fine. I mean, we're married, so it's always a uh, more of a roller coaster than men just happy. <laughs> hey, fair. The only thing keeping that that marriage together is Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he is the goodest boy. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. The goodest needy boy. Oh yeah, but no, I've been fuck. I've been married to Tony like almost ten years now. Yeah. Holy okay. crap. Yeah, it'll be. Thank you. It'll be ten years in October. Nice. And we've been together obviously longer than that, but. <laughs> nah, you got together afterwards, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it was an arranged thing. Yeah, you met at the together. altar. <laughs> yeah, we both just signed this paper, and then we were told there are your marriage licenses, and then we met like two months later. <laughs> pretty cool. And it just happened to work. <laughs> it just happened that he was hot. <laughs> it's usually how he gets away with some of this shit. <laughs> you're lucky you're cute. That's what I tell him. Oh. I wonder if I just just have my character having forgotten everything, including her master. Like maybe the master got tired of her bullshit and she's like, I'm just gonna scratch your memory clean. You don't remember me. <laughs> Good luck. So, uh, I think everyone's got a good, uh, grasp on each other. You know, not, not literally, wink wink, but figuratively. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. Axel, are you gonna give, uh, my character random shit to do? Or do I just make up something random? I mean, if you want me to, I can give your character random shit to do. Well, it's because, uh, since she's a king got me, like, she usually asks for- Guidance. Asks for tasks, and always has to do something. <coughs> right, but wouldn't so that be of- Huh? Is- is that from her, like, patron, though, or from her master? Her master is gonna be her patron. Okay. Alright, ladies and gents, I'm back. So, wait. I wanted to get my fill of nicotine, so I possibly would not have to take a break. 
It's all right. If you take a break, we'll just, you know, like, have you become a spectator. No, I'm, I'm just <laughs> fucking with you. Of course. There's, there's a lot of people, so you could probably just wait till your time oh, is done. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dude, it's going to take so long for... And then the when people start doing stuff... Yeah, there's a bit. There's gonna be an interesting one. Speaking of, um, we're good. I I'll set the setting for you, uh, as best as I can. Where you guys are, you know, coming in. Uh, we're forgetting something. We're forgetting which I never introduced. Him. Oh, that's right, because you were smoking. I was not smoking. I was taking a difference. Thank you very much. I would prefer to drink. Anyway. <clears throat> Attic. No, it's like. Wedge is a slightly new addition to the carnival. He's a rather simple person. Nasi doesn't talk much. And uh, he was brought into the carnival as the trick shot. Ooh. Oh yeah, he shoots things at me and I catch them. And uh, on top of being a trick shot, he also has a pet serpent. <gasps> Pet serpent? Yes, a serpent. I'm gonna use talk with animals to talk Wait, to your serpent at some point. Like, uh, going off table knowledge, but he always has two arrow quivers on him. One, one is normal arrows. The other one has a reservoir at the bottom where the serpent's venom stays, so the tips are poisoned. Do you, do you milk your serpent? Yes, I milk my serpent. <laughs> it's so weird that that's what it's actually called. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, there's some weirder things than that that are also called milking that you don't even want to know. Yeah. <laughs> but, I didn't know it was actually called that. D despite him being a very simple person, he also is efficient at what he does. Which brings to why he's the car. He is running from the law because, despite being a ranger, he's not exactly the sneakiest. The last one, he had a little bit of a flub on job and got sighted. So he is now on the run from the law. Alrighty. Is there any uh, other, you know, pe not not just you, but from anybody that they want to cover before we, you know, drop the setting and let people kind of do what it is? Have, I don't have anything written for for Jewel. Oh, oh. I, I mean, I have the character bro. I mean, I, okay, I have the, I have the. Are you breaking in and out? A lot. Yeah, no, I know. This mic is a okay, Um. But yes. We can. Uh, we can have it uh, come up in. In story, if you're okay with your. If you prefer. I don't mind that. <laughs> Axel, did you see my message? Oh no, I did not. Sorry. It's in. It's in roll twenty. Oh, that would I also be why. Deleted. Drago. No. <laughs> Drago. <is not laughs> deleted myself too. But it's because I drew, and so I just made a box. Oh. Uh, in the box, <laughs> so I deleted everything. To be fair, that is absolutely hilarious. Uh, you have a character that is. Right. One sec. I will put the. Uh... I will give you control of it. It is right here, but you probably don't have control of it yet. Speaking of, I have to give... Oh, yes. Uh, Axel, if by the other characters, you need Diffie's character, character, which is there, so I can that I actually control over there. Yeah, I can give you control. You could also pull them from your journal, but it's probably uh, easier. I, for... I did. That's why I wanted to leave those two. Oh, okay. Sorry, ping them again, the ones that you need deleted? There we go. Yeah, that's a lot easier. There we go. All right, and we will give this control to. There we go. 
And now you should be able to move that one right there. Oh. This one? Can you move it? What? This one. Boop, boop, oh, my character's boop. gonna be in a trunk in storage somewhere. How do I move it? Uh, you can use the arrow keys, or you can move it oh. with your mouse. Wait, really? Oh, I never knew you could use oh the arrow goodness. keys. Oh my goodness! I didn't awesome. know that! Yeah, it moves Someone just called off. Whoa. I'm not moving. Uh, I'm, I'm moving Diffie's characters because technically Diffie's character's not with us right now. Yeah, that's fine. She's chest somewhere, so I'm just kind of moving down all the way. Help. Can I I'm get Grego to be mine? I'm not moving. Did I'm I... so needy. You gotta. I can. No, no, no. He, he does. It's he, he. I have to do something else for him. Yeah, there no, you go. You. Uh, Although she, I thought I set her up for it. Should be under her name. And I'm this little fella in red. Yeet. Yeah. The one above me. Okay. And... Oh, I that's to no, the oh. There you go. Fire breathing. <sighs> the most would know that. <laughs> Maybe you can just not Naruto running right now. Huh? <laughs> Where's Area 51? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have any halflings this time. No, also, that's no. Michael who hates all the halflings. Yeah, this time we have two Warforged. How many else? Uh, I'm an elf. How many half-elves? Uh, I'm an elf. I didn't do this. I didn't. Did not do this. That's all I gotta say. I didn't do this. You instigated. I mean. All right. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. But I didn't do it. Drago. He definitely looks like a zombie because he's missing flesh. Uh, so you can see bone and muscle. And he's not like a fully grown male lion. Have you been around the the, the carnival for long? I'd say I've probably been... What, how long has the carnival been here? Hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. So I've probably been around the carnival for... Maybe... Five to ten years. Okay. Anytime Grego is left alone, I have a tendency to try to bury it because I think it's dead. Uh, he will never be left alone. He is by my side at all times. Okay. <laughs> is that why you put mine in the trunk? Yes. I'm always trying to pick up. <laughs> oh, because you're you're uh, Gunther. You're I'm the, Gunther. You're, you're, you're the war forward. My, my, my base programming is to be a laborer and clean. However, I'm a ringmaster. So you're our butler. Basically. So if I drop something, you'll pick it up for me? If it stays there long enough, yeah. What if I drop my pants? <laughs> I'm tempted to speak in third person, but I fear that I'll... That you'll confuse people? <laughs> no, no that, that this one will forget. What 
instrument do I even have again? I can't remember. Oh, Where do I find that? My equipment. Uh, it would be in your equipment. equipment. Axel? Yes. Because I'm a Warforged, does my body count as instruments? No. Mm. Okay. Not unless... So then I possess a drum, a dulcimer, a lute, a lyre, a nisham. Those are the you current have instruments. Have unless it's constructed into your Warforge? So my, my that was his was idea. Yeah. The, the first, the, the first troop, like the ones who started the carnival, I stayed with them for a while, but then I accidentally murdered them while they were sleeping, and then I took all of their instruments and built it into my body. Accidentally. I say anything I say you do while sleeping is accidentally. I'm I'm also cool with that. Uh. Both fine, okay. both good. I, I just have a bunch of instruments, that's all. I only have a loot. My original idea was like that one man show, Ringmaster. So, like, oh I was imagining God. like a guy with the drum and the cymbal and the accordion, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I'm that gonna, guy. I'm but I was like, you know what? one man band. Yeah, one man band. But I was like, you know what? But I don't want to be carrying all these instruments around because I'm never be able to fight. Like, I figured you guys are going to pick fights. So the idea was like, okay, so he's a uh, construct, he's a warforge, but he has instruments that are built into his body so I can carry him around and be the one-man band, but in combat. So he's big band. Yeah, so he's big band. <laughs> Sweet. Carly yeah. is, like, low-key jealous. Because you can play so many instruments at once. I can't play them well, but I can play them. <laughs> That makes a difference, actually. If she, if you can't play them well, then she's not gonna care. Sadly, my performance is only a plus six. Uh, my Although that doesn't really make sense because I should have double proficiency on that. My performance is plus seven. Okay, so I'm a little better with all of those instruments than you. But I have plus seven. For what? Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. You're better. You're slightly better than me. See, see, no, no reason to be jealous. I'm the master of the loot, is all I'm going to say. Uh, oh, that's right, I took double proficiency in deception and persuasion, because I'm a ringmaster. That's right. <laughs> Alright, so do- are, are we all figured out then? <laughs> I love this stuff though, so I'm all good with it. I'm gonna say that's a yes from that person. <laughs> I am still waiting on this game to quote unquote character mancer me. It's been building character for like 20 minutes. I had to close it and reopen it. I, it was, I just went and checked it and I was like, I hate this program sometimes because it is Garbo. But it is free Garbo, so I mean, I can't complain too much. That or I have to open my wallet. Either either yeah. shut my mouth or open my wallet. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm excited to start a Friday game with Fantasy Grounds. Said I've got to get it. I was trying to set it up the other day, but I couldn't quite get the. Uh... There's a bit of a learning curve. I'm not gonna lie. There's oh no, I was. On the GM side of things. I was gonna say I was just trying to get the uh, modules loaded in and trying to figure that out mostly because I'm an idiot. Yeah, you have to go over to library and then open up your library and then click on you know, uh, there's a little like box there that says like your library, your modules, something like that. And then you can actually like decide which ones are loaded in, which ones aren't. Nice. Like I said, it's I, I, a little weird, but I guess it's I, I it's totally not too it's not like it's too weird. It's like I said, I just got to spend more time and like figure out exactly what I'm doing was, for it. Was an ultimate code able to work for you? I I'm not sure yet. I think it was, and I still just gotta like either sync up the library or I have gotta just like reload it. That or it's totally working, and I'm like confused. Either way, <laughs> it could be either one, a hundred percent, because I am an idiot a lot of the time. Like, I'd say a good seventy percent of the time, I'm just totally retarded, and not in the sense of like to be offensive to the mentally handicapped. I don't use that word to describe the mentally handicapped. 
I use that word to describe people who have the ability to use their brain and don't. Yes. I think normally people, but I can't figure out how to people. Yeah. Let's quit running away! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna... To run faster. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna open up, I guess, that way we can get into the RPing more than just the backstory, and then we can RP the backstory, because it's always just, fun to watch you guys. Just a little FYI for y'all. I can hit things up to 600 feet. As oh! Did you take Spell Sniper or something? Uh, Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Yes. This is a backstory that people want. I'm gonna increase my age to 500. That's cool. That's actually works well with uh, what we're doing here, cause it'll be a very it'll work well. Uh, I'll, I'll you'll see as soon as we get into the running of this, but How it'll be. Uh, that would be Gunther. I, I had him originally at two fifteen, cause I figured you, most people aren't going to be older than a hundred. Uh, but we do have one person who's a couple hundred or you know several hundred, so I'm just gonna bring it up to five hundred and call it a day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm like quite old. Old dog. Warforged star, awesome. <laughs> and this is gonna be fun. I knew this was gonna have a lot of RP options with the carnival going on. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. I'm All right. So this is gonna be a short intro. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't set a lot of paths. I mean, there's a lot of open stuff to do, and I have stuff ready. But there's no set path here. This is a carnival, and I believe in you guys. A. But, uh, welcome to Zathros. Jaranarch's Carnival Masquerade, spelt Carnival Mask or Raid. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> this. Can I add a journal here? Is there a way to. I don't know. You guys should be able to. If not, I can give you another journal. I don't see a way to add a journal, and I don't see a way to add notes to my character. That is an unfortunate thing. Let me give you guys some actual like handouts. Cause I would like, I would literally like to type some of this up, but I can't. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. I think this might be the best way to run this. We're gonna go bam, 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 and do a shared journal and see how that goes. I'm sure it will immediately be bad, and I will have to like give everyone their own journal. But for now, I want to see if this works. Note. Yep. It is unedited. It is just a note for that anyone can edit and do things with. Unfortunately, I think that means you can all edit it, so you don't have your own yeah, individual it, copy. And the last person to save it, I think, is the one that matters. Mm, Alright. Yep. I think then I will just make everyone their own note. You will all have your own mysterious note. Yeah, so we'll start with this one. And that'll just Take be the group button. note. What? No. Dun, 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 dun. You see, no, I can't check any notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, so now you will hopefully be getting slowly uh, personal notes that only you can see in it. And you can change the names of the notes to something besides Mysterious Note if you'd like. Or you could leave it as Mysterious Note. I also don't mind that. And I think that is pretty much everybody. Does anyone not have a mysterious note who needs a mysterious note? Nope. Yes. I just renamed my mysterious note to mysterious note G minor. That's all. Yay! <laughs> Can I, I be mysterious? But, no, but it's okay. So carnival, mask, and raid. Got it. Yes, it is. A, it is a special place. Cough, <clears throat> but this traveling carnival, currently owned by two insane ringleaders who came together to form a single mega carnival, has been running strong. Is approaching nearly 500 years of operation tomorrow. However, the co owners constantly bicker, and several factions inside the carnival may not always get along what will happen on this exciting day who's the leader of the first carnival 
His name is Zathros. And he leads Mask? Yes. And who leads Rafe? That would be Generarch, so they split the name right down the center for things. And to if you'd like a spelling, it's like stupid, stupid, retarded spelling, but it's it. yeah. Just spell it however you want to spell. Is that the name again? Yeah, it's Janarx. And it's D J A N A R A K S. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try spelling. Yeah, it that's right. what I said. I was just like just spell it however you wanna spell, baby. That's how I spell, baby. Yay! Man, I gotta stop doing acid every day. That is a bad thing. Okay, I didn't do any today, but I'm just saying it's starting to pile up. Okay. So they are, they are slowly but surely getting to ahead. Um. Uh, in addition to these ringleader owners, there are many smaller ringleaders placed throughout the carnival who read the lead the smaller rings there's a as you can see this is a large carnival and you guys know because you've been here at least most of you for a decent amount of time that this is not the whole carnival this is one section of the carnival that you're currently in which is like the general audience section Yeah. Uh, is, is it early morning? Are we just waking up? What's what, what time of day is it? That's a good question. Let me hit my D hundred. <laughs> it is a useful tool. Oh, it's middle of the day. A little, little afternoon, you know, twelve fifteen. Let's say. Um, everyone. Everyone sees the eight foot tall warforged jog across the thing. I am late for lunch. I am late for lunch. I need to start cooking. <laughs> okay. Uh, and just to make things a little easier to group and for re you know for motivation's sake, uh, you currently all. Uh, share a ring basically you, you know as as you are we talked earlier there are smaller factions and things you are one of those smaller factions or acts and uh have this i'm pinging it currently sorry if the map is so big but it is the black and red tent top Ooh, cool that is your guys's tent top where all of your separate acts take place okay. and are situated. We are all in the same ring. We have a animal tamer. We have trapeze artists. We have... Who else do we have? Because that, that's three people. We have five people on the map. I'm a bard, so I do bard things like play. I think we have two music. bards. Or do we only do have, we have the one bards? bard? Well. I'm more an orator and performance yeah. person. Which My is good. Is not there yet, but she does the twisty, bendy, uh, knife eating, fire breathing type performer. Awesome. Uh, the main thing you're looking for there is contortionist. Contortionist. Yeah. yeah. There's a word for that in there. There it's is. Bendy. There's pretty much a word for anything, and then you do it in front of people, and it's a performance. She's the bendy. <laughs> the bendy boo. Do the bender. 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 I thought about that as well, but I always think of Bender when I hear Bendy. <laughs> There's no way I can't Bender. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we we have that. Uh, I will also say you guys, as being a sub faction, report to a larger faction. You guys can decide the name of your act. Uh, the way things work at the carnival currently. Uh, is that while the carnival has like this large reputation that people bring in it's your job to like get wanderers by to come into your tent and basically earn your keep for food and stuff and obviously you pack up your own tent you load up your own stuff you have your own carts and horses and mules you, you know eating area as you can see kind of over here is a little bit shared but you have your own table 
Uh, and as I said, since you're a sub division, you report to someone who is. Sorry, I gotta go grab their character information because I lost it. But they're gonna be a fun one. Oh no! What did I do with the generator? <laughs> No idea. Yeah, me neither. So, I'm gonna hit it again. Ah. You are under Paquin, who is a uh, Merilith juggler. Merilith juggler? Yep. Almost said juggler. I know, I, I did too. So, Paquin, the Merilith juggler who is the leader basically the ring leader of the which you would figure they would just be but she multitasks and she kind of comes by every once in a while to oversee what you guys are doing and give you assignments ask for things give you things uh you know the, the, the name of our ring is called syncopation yay i'm spell. i assume that's spelt like synco s y oh, okay c O P A T I O N. It is a musical term for the deliberate upsetting of the normal yeah. pattern of uh, yeah. uh, I know syncopation. I thought I thought you were doing a Yeah, I know what syncopation is. I was making a joke. I was hoping that Diffy gets my joke there. Right, oh, Diffy? I get his joke. You should still spell it like how you thought you should spell it. I you think say. I think so too. I think it's a funny pun. I like to be what? punny. But I was doing the uh, the deliberate misspelling of syncopation as cinco as in the number five. Which, if you did anything in five in standard music, would end up being basically... Well, it wouldn't be a hard syncopation, but it would be a weird off syncopation every fifth beat. It would be beautiful! <laughs> God. We, we have a handful of acts that, that could go fairly well together, but we make a point to actually interrupt other people's acts in the middle of it with someone else's i feel like yeah, that's a good idea transitions is a lack of transition. just a violent lack of just like get the off stage pushes them into the crowd just leave the but leave said so that the attention of the wanderers damn it it does they but yeah it is a uh... have time. having said that it is noon and as we all know, any good carnival kind of starts later in the day. Does not start probably until at least 2 o'clock at the earliest. So you guys are still in the midst of prepping, finishing breakfast, rolling out of bed. Because as we all know, carnivals can run late depending on how the lighting works and what your act is. Fire breathers go late. I make a point to mix in white rock candy with our popcorn. Just to add a little bit of spice to tonight's festivities. You want to break some teeth, huh? Here. Is it just syncopation? Yeah, just syncopation. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I oh, man, know. some of them, they already exist. Damn it. I hurt myself today. Aw, people already have it. Yeah, from 2011. Damn you being better at puns than me, people. <laughs> Having said that, uh, yes, syncopation is ready to go. They, uh, they each have their, you know, you guys have your own goals and dreams and reasons of being here. I make sure to feed everybody. I still don't know why Master made me work here. Who's master? You know that, yeah. oh, I thought that's what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a declaration you were making. No, it was in character. <laughs> Even though my character's in the box, no one knew about it. How can you find you? That's my question. <laughs> I don't have to have life. Your little laugh, laugh just ended my whole life. life. Not your whole life. 
My whole life. Enemy Diddy does have kind of blast. You hear a tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Sounds like someone's playing with dice. Is, is a tap, tap, tap coming from something? Oh, actually, okay. you want to play like that. Tap, tap, tap also is a thing from Warframe. A certain quest is kind of creepy as fuck. I, we don't talk about that damn quest, so... I thought that quest was fucking amazing. Y'all just weak as fuck. <laughs> No, no, it's just that I not when, you know. Especially when you log in and it decides to sh lovely scare the shit. So I got a nap 20 on making lunch. Oh, oh shit, <laughs> we eating good boys. Lunch ever. I I thank you so flamboyantly. You have does, no idea. Does the smell of the, the 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 delicious food wake up the one in the crate? I mean, it doesn't matter if it wakes up the one in the crate or not. Far we are away from the crate, to hear said inside. Proof. Yeah. Yeah. Which we will, we will say that crate is somewhere. So, so we I make lunch. Crate that we just loaded, unloaded. We have no clue what's in it. Yep. <laughs> that is my favorite. Cause we're all just. I I look at it and I'm just like, I don't want to open it. I'm not gonna. We don't even know what's in there. So and this then is, I walk this away. has been getting moved around since before you joined the carnival, and no one has ever opened it. But I unload it and reload it every time. <laughs> well, it looks like we didn't use that crate again. <sighs> This crate has been here my entire life. <laughs> I have no clue what's in it. <laughs> Luckily, well, you're not you're you're not an investigative type, so. Oh, you know what sounds really good with this uh with this awesome breakfast that Gunther just made us, fucking waffles. Ooh. There is. We could definitely use some waffles. I I do believe that I have some sap of the tree. I believe there are even a couple of foul if you wish me to chase them down. Thanks. Corner still uh, So we just we just have a box that says just open for waffles. Don't open it. <laughs> <laughs> I serve everyone lunch, I don't eat. And then I go about setting up for the day. Oh. I have a Discord notification. Hmm? What? Secrets? Secrets? Who? Works. Oh my god, I've been muted this entire time. No! It happens, Gamma. How long have you been muted? Uh, since we started the game. Oh my god. <laughs> it was... I've, I've been saying stuff since like, why is nobody here? <laughs> we should not laugh at this, but it's too damn funny. It's great. Oh. So we're named Single Face now. Welcome back. I, I do know that much. I 
I've had my ears on, but <laughs> I've had my you just haven't on. heard me. <laughs> you sure you're not a warforged? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I hooked on my. We'll just we'll just say that Evita has just been chilling in the grass, eating breakfast with <laughs> with Drago right now. I will not be... away from all of this box stuff. I will be polishing my loot to make it nice and shiny. Well, at least I, uh, Dayu isn't around. That would be gone. Yeah, that would. <laughs> Oh god, you that was a that wonderful game. character. Oh, that was. Oh, I, still, I get to play with her. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, who are you talking about? Is that a character I missed? I was actually looking at my notes. <laughs> no, you're. See if that was a character I missed. We've been playing too long. To yeah. <laughs> I just listened to that uh, playthrough with Alyssa and them. It was, yeah. uh. They was. She's special. Character. She was we definitely. Get wonderful. We get to see how she reacts. This, this Friday. <laughs> yeah, right. She's gonna kill ENG. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, uh, it yeah, might not be Friday good. Is. That was perfectly good egg I could have had. What are you rolling for? I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be real interesting. Oh no. So I'm just sitting here in the corner, polishing my loot, and I get food and I eat it, and I continue polishing. Ah. Okay. Ooh. The eavesdropping. Why is that bold? Is that a whisper? Oh, it's not bold. I'm just stupid and can't see. Never mind. <laughs> you said it. I did not. <laughs> I am only the one. I'm the only one who calls me stupid. Uh, maybe? Maybe you're just too stupid to hear other people. So do we regularly just not eat? Meals together, even though we're a faction, and these that's factions. I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go mute and let you guys hash this out. Gunther never eats, he makes a point to make every single meal for all of you, and then he goes to the he makes a point to make every single meal for all of you to make sure that you're all properly fed. He picks up after all of you, but he never eats with you because he doesn't eat. Okay, where is Gunther prepare the meals over by the fire with the tent and the I table? Okay, this map is huge. Yeah, there's a huge. This is a huge. Where gotcha. are we? Where are okay, we looking? Okay, so on the east side of the map, this one. There's a tent. Okay, gotcha. How about you? Okay, that's where I. Yeah, that's where I went. The things are even small. I, I I got I got some. I did wait a little bit. There was no conversation with Meal, so I went to prepare the tent. <laughs> Over here. Gosh, that's so tiny. That is real motherfucking tiny. What the hell did you do to this map, Axel? Over here! Where all this blue cloud twister... Over by where... I am now moving back and forth on what looks like a table? Yes. Okay. Whoa! Oh my whoa. god, the, the clouds just showed up. Yeah, they yep, just appeared. That's where I'm it is. under there, oh god. <laughs> here, here, I got this. I am sitting with Jem, polishing my loot, and eating food. I sit on the grass. Delicious food. There you go. Rego laying next to me. Can y'all see that? Food prep. Hey. If you zoom in enough, you can actually see that there are, uh, Pots and pans on that table there. Oh, neat! Oh, that requires zooming in, which I hadn't been doing because I didn't know where we were. Yeah, Un understandable. It is excessively big. Axel well, likes sitting... excessively big. I'm sitting at the table with you, Alyssa. Yes, I see this. All right, I would actually be probably close to the table, but just not at the table. The wedge is still <laughs> relatively new. He's only been there a few weeks. And he's the fire he's, or earth ganasi? Yes. He is the guy with the pet snake who's a sharpshooter. And always has two different quivers on. One with the old milk of the snake in the bottom of it. 
Yeah, and well, let's just say he has a tendency to forget which one's which. Oh, wonderful. When he goes oh, to pull God. an arrow from it. Excellent. Sometimes it's just, it's just reflex to reach back and grab an arrow. This can't be a life decision. I mean, you're fine as long as you make the constitution save. Yeah, that's always nice to hear. You just hear of, oh gosh, no. We'll get into that if something happens. Just don't get shot by him, it's fine. I mean, don't fuck up your acting and you won't get shot. Thank goodness for deflect missiles. <laughs> if you succeed. Yeah, but, you know. I have a high constitution. I'll be fine. I'll be sitting here playing my loot and you'll fling arrows at me. I mean, that's when you roll a one on your constitution save. Why would you curse me like this? Uh, that may be how I am. Anywho, on with the story. <laughs> she was here on recreation. <laughs> That's slowly. Alright, so we're sitting here eating lunch, and it seems to be only Carly and myself at, immediately at the table. So if. No, there's a uh, Doggo, Diego, Undead, Lion-O at the end of the table as well. But and this is also at breakfast. The table. And I technically, if you guys. It is, but it's breakfast because we just woke our asses up. Okay, fine. We like to party late tonight. It's night. food. It's food. It's food time. You essentially time. can be night performers, so you probably sleep during the morning hours. Yeah. Oh, well, there's an entirely different night But either way- That, that is a different tent. <laughs> <laughs> it's lots of adultery there. It is just in the immediate vicinity to where if I talk quietly enough, it's just Carly and myself. Yes. I mean, he is a good 10 feet away from you. Each square is five, right? Yeah, so then he'd be like 30 feet away from you, 25. I know there's a measuring tool. Either way. Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. So, so last night, um... If... Uh, I, I'm going right into this. That's, that's totally fine. I was going to say, if you wanted to, there are always uh, secondary things where if you would like to maintain the secrecy of your whisper, you may do so. If you don't well, care, which I don't either. We got that 16 perception to eavesdrop on others. It's I true. Did. That is so, true. How stealthy are you being, Alyssa? That is true as well. You know what? Let's, let's roll. <laughs> let's roll a whisper check. <laughs> I don't want anybody hearing that I'm your buddy. Would, would this be stealth? Uh, I'd say, yeah, probably. This Because you're still trying to hide something. Unless, I mean, I looked through the skills, but I don't know any that just jump out. I was say, nothing. It says, nothing really. yeah, the only thing, the closest that I could see you is in stealth, and it's make a dex check, blah, 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 when you slip away without being noticed, or just sneak up on someone without being seen or heard. But there's unless nothing. You're to, unless you're trying to hide a, uh, hide a fart with a cop, in which case roll deception. True, true. There's other, there's other ones. You could also hide it with intimidation. <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, uh, th th there's nothing on the, the these skills that I could see that would go besides stealth. So even though it's it's definitely not the same uh, ability modifier that would go towards it although i don't know what would go towards 
being quiet. I so. say, you tell me what to roll, and I will roll I, it. I say you just roll the stealth. That's that's the best I can think of for that, unless someone has another suggestion. We could also roll perception to see if he notices, or see if we notice him. Like, trying to listen in. Yeah. That is also true. You could try to perception his, uh, you know, eavesdropping. My passive perception is 14, so he's fine passively. He well, that's the thing. He didn't... He didn't stealth his eavesdropping, so he's kind of just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. And, and, and I'm 310 feet away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's that close to That's why I was just like, I'm going to let this go for as long as it needs to, but I think he's good. He went over to the other thing to start prepping the tent. Is this you? Yeah. yeah, he went to go start prepping the tent. We Maybe I should put everyone's names on their thing. That way they can... Uh, I feel like that would help people know where other people like, are. I was enjoying the conversation, so I was just going to go as long as it needed to. But... Oh, it was beautiful. That's why I wasn't saying anything. I was just like, yeah, man, make the thing. You didn't make a stealth roll. You didn't know. I mean. There you go. Now you can see his name. We're going to. Can you see his name? In the side of the I mean, I didn't say you could see it well, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I will admit so anyway, I may have made this okay. map a bit big. <laughs> well, last night, last night, I'm still going to Wait. roll a perception check to see if anyone else is actively listening. That is a good idea. That no is what I will to figure out. How that he's th <laughs> from 310 feet away. <laughs> okay. He has one of those like. He's one of those, like, so, old record just, player horns, oh. like, stabbed into his ear socket, and he's trying to, like, move. I understand that I'm biased. He just has, he just has, you know, like, the, the Soviet-Russian listening equipment from just, like, me dialing in with a giant radio and a, no. He took off his ear, and he's using Wi-Fi. He just cut it off and threw it over. <laughs> Alright, uh, but yeah, I mean... You got these people 30 feet away from you. You got this guy 70 feet away from you. Alright, well, less than eight. Isn't he in our party, too? He's just like the new guy, though. Yeah. He's relatively new. I've been here for a few weeks. I just don't... He was like, basically, he came in and was assigned to you because new guys get assigned to troops. You can also recruit new guys, but like if new people just show up, they get assigned to troops. Gotcha. And you guys hadn't gotten a new troop member in a little while. So last night, what happened? Do I know names for these people, or do I just know them as what you described them as? Uh, the people in your troop, or the people we were talking about? The, the one we were talking about. What we were talking about, yeah. Uh, you don't know about them. You didn't even see his face really good. I just know that they work for what's his face. Yeah, because they told you that. Okay. So there might be talks of a mutiny of sorts. Ooh, that's exciting. Why? I don't know. Who's talking? I don't... Here's the thing, I don't even know who they were. Oh. That's it's weird. They, they want... They want me to join on... How do you say this? <laughs> so, I'm gonna call him Z. Yeah. Call who Z? No. I, uh, um... <laughs> The, the owner dude. Zathros. Uh. Zathros? Okay. Yeah. Zathros wants me on his side and he wants an answer and I don't know what to do right now. So, who is the, who is, who are we riding against? What's happening? I don't know. The, the, there weren't very many details last night. How could they not have many details? They're, how rude of them. You'd think they'd plan out their mutinies better, is all I'm going to say. Well, are they going to tell me their plans if they don't know if I'm on their side? Hmm. Because well, I figure if I tell them I'm on their side, then I'll get details. 
If, I suppose. So what, are you on their side? What's, what's going on? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hmm. Well, how can we pick, how can we pick what side we're on if we don't even know who we're riding against? Well, we're riding against the other owner. Oh, right, right, right. Do I, DM, do I know, what, what do I know about the other owner? Do I like them? Uh, so, you don't, you know a little bit about both owners, so Zarathos. <laughs> oh, God. Just boom! It was just there. <laughs> uh, you, you know both owners a little bit. Uh, suffice to say that neither one of them you've ever actually talked to or seen in person, though. Okay. Uh, you've heard a couple stories about both of them, but basically most of what you hear is that they don't like each other for whatever reason. You don't even know why. They just know that they're always, like, when they meet each other, they're, like, fighting or yelling about something. Something gets broken. Someone might get fired. Someone might get, like, promoted. You, you just don't know. Okay. And as someone who's lived here her whole life, would I know you, more? Yes, you would actually know a, a decent deal about them. So, having, like, lived there your whole life, you would know, and if anyone wants to write this down, that's totally up to them, uh, that Zarathos is a cleric specifically uh you know he's a very high level cleric and a good cleric obviously i mean he's not a you know okay. death knight or an evil cleric um his whole thing about the carnival uh as far as you understand it is that he uses it to entertain and he wants it to be like family entertainment and that was what his carnival was it was very family entertainment uh, you know, kind of open, not very, like, too dark or scary or anything like that. So he's pissed off about the horse head. <laughs> A little bit. It's not necessarily just about the... <laughs> Who, what? No one could hate the whore tent. <laughs> not family friendly. Um... <clears throat> where... The whore tent just has a single wooden sign outside of it that glows red and it's called the hobby hole. <laughs> well, it know. used to it used to have three red X's, but now they are three red Y's. <laughs> you know, a family can also include adults. I think look, family friendly, uh, family you know, friendly family friendly meals at Hooters all week. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. Uh, but uh, the explanation uh, for the other owner you would know that that owner is basically a lich and oh. yes Ooh. okay yes and so that's why they're constantly fighting it at odds obviously um and the lich basically came from the much darker side of carnivals freak shows um and and thinking even back to the fact that obviously we're in D&D uh, &D times, so these are medieval carnivals where you would have people still being eaten by lions, you would have fights to the death, you would have uh, archery combat, skill tests, stuff like that being a regular thing. Uh, in addition, obviously, to the stuff that you guys do, juggling, barding, animal taming, uh, contortionism, centipede eating... Uh, you know, what, whatever your, your various things, there's, I mean, there's, you guys are in a big carnival. There's crazier stuff out there in this, trust me. Um, so have I heard any, like, what kind of stories have I heard about people who have interacted with them? Uh, for the most part, I mean, it's kind of generally varied, like, you'll, notice that obviously they're a bit cliquish so you have like certain troops that hang out more on the evil side because of their either their race composition or their skill composition so you know obviously the freak shows and uh anything that ha would have to do with like death combat tend to lean towards zarthos and he obviously treats them better they get they treat him better it just it, it doesn't seem like either of them are necessarily more inherently bad or good than their positions obviously one is a cleric and one is a lich so one is inherently good and one is inherently evil um Fair, yeah. uh but aside from those two things like as far as the running of the carnival they basically run it fair it's like a business and even the fact that they're still together is 100 percent like 
a business the fact that they their carnivals were not like working solo at, or more to the point like they were able to do much better together even in their individual pursuits okay yeah having said that i did want to make note of the fact that where you guys are currently unless i am uh totally bonkers crazy which i mean i am uh is uh zarathos's section you guys are placed basically within zarathos's section because you are on the lighter side of things with one notable okay. exception so our our tent over on this side here the black and white tent that is also in zarathos's yes section? so basically this whole map is zarathos's section okay Gotcha. And so, thinking of it like that, imagine that this giant tent is Zarathos's tent. Okay. So you guys got pretty good billing. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Having said that, because you're right next to Zarathos's tent, you actually don't get as good billing as you would think. Because the draw from him pulls from you. Mm. You, you get, like, his stragglers and his exits and stuff, but... It's it's not as beneficial as you would think to be in the tent. Sorry. Yeah. In the placing. Yeah. You would think it'd be a lot better, but it it, it really works as like a funnel into his tent. We still do better than that sun tent if you look at the traffic. Yeah, no, you you ain't wrong. There's a lot of tents you do better than still. This tent, this tent's in bad shape, son. <laughs> Uh, but having said that, I can tell you that, uh, God, I, even I have trouble saying his goddamn name. I don't know why I had to make his name so complicated. Janorak? Janorak, yep. His Janorak. camp, the Janorak, yeah, yeah. He's, I was gonna say, I'm gonna call him Denny. yeah, that's, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> that is fair. He is to the east. And, east. yeah, the, yeah, the west. And the north being the natural facing upward north where Zarathos' tent is. Okay. So. You know what I think we need to do? What's that? I think we need to find out more information. Figure out whose side of this we're on, you know? I am gonna retcon and say now that I know more, I have a little better formed opinion. Okay, so. Rewind. So. Oh no, we're retconning. Everyone's gonna get pissed at us now. No. I learned more information that I I actually knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, wh what are you gonna do? What 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 do you think we need to do? I mean, staying with Zarathos would be smart, considering he cut me essentially report to him mm. like throughout like if you go up our chain but at the same time that of uh, like Jenny's stuff also brings in a draw and I'm worried he might change that yeah I don't, maybe we would lose we'd lose business if we go with if we split up the party hmm. we definitely need to know more yeah because we can't, we can't make a decision where we're going to be if we don't know more. We need to know more, but we also need to know who, who do we trust? Who asked? Who asked you to be in the, be in the, uh, uh, I'm forgetting the word. I, I couldn't see their faces, like, they were very hush-hush. But I'm, I'm not even talking just that, I'm talking like... Who else do we talk to about this? Nobody. I say nobody. Uh, we have a viciously quiet guy who keeps Ooh. to himself. At this point, Axel, can I make a perception check to see if I hear this conversation? You definitely can. You can make an act because they definitely look like they're plotting. So, I got a perception total of... Did we roll stealth? I don't know. If you didn't, you're gonna be in trouble, man. I mean... <laughs> like, they just looked around and like... David, I'm doing this quietly. 
Okay. Okay. So I, I thought. Uh, I thought. His... Probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably yes. You'd also have to roll stealth because you'd both be. Okay. You know, uh, it just reminds me of the one scene in Futurama. It's like, don't tell anyone. That guy's daughter is. <laughs> it's Futurella. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, so I rolled an 11, but my passive is 16. So I don't know if you take the 11 or you take the 16 just for the passive. But uh, I think the passive. What you will. I think the passive would mean that, especially depending on their stealth roll, that if they're not able to roll high enough, that you would hear them regardless. But then gotcha. during your active roll, you're actually not paying as you like focusing fucked you up. Gotcha. I, I rolled. So. I rolled a 19, and I have a plus 4. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm, you didn't yeah, give it away. I rolled a 23 total. Jesus. Uh, yeah, you looked over, but they, they, they did that girl whisper thing where you just had no f***ing clue what they f***ing said, and you're like... you're yes, like we rolled the same thing. We both rolled 23. Could I also roll for Drago? Uh... Crap. I guess. I mean, we haven't. I haven't. I gotta check his stats. I guess. Let me... I. I, for, I will tell you that while we have been sitting here, I would have been talking with Drago about what you sent me. Okay. In which case, is then yeah. I mean, if he's and yeah, I mean he's your animal companion, so he's supposed to take your stats. So he should be as smart as you are, even yeah, if he's yeah, undead. I, yeah, I have a whole. I'm taking him as a panther, but I'm just saying he's a smaller lion before he actually died. So he's technically got the panther uh, oh. stat sheet. Because it's a, it's a one-quarter challenge for the for the companion and death part. So. Well, Alright, is... do, he, doesn't, he doesn't hear either, so. Ah, unfortunate. So, yeah. Jump, jump. Let, let me ask you this. Who do you want to tell? Because mm. you, can't, you can't trust anybody. Like, yeah, we've been partnering with all these people for a while. Well, except for the dark guy. But, like, can we really trust them? That one has the lion that's dead. I can see his flesh. He's got bones sticking out. Hush down. I am nuzzling. I am nuzzling the not for a part of him when you say that. I also 100% pointed at you. <laughs> well, your stealth was still high enough, so. Fair, yeah. So you're like, I, I point, but you don't notice because I'm just so mm -hmm. snicky. Snicky snick. And I'm infatuated with my beautiful undead. I will talk to that lion. That lion will probably never talk back. Aww. I still, who knows? Snake. But, I still have the snake I can talk to. But, but Carly, Carly. Yes, yes. Even if it's weird, we're all weird in our own ways here. So we can't take, you know, the undead lion and just be afraid of it. The undead lion might actually be good to have on our side. That is true. But you don't know what Jenny's got. Maybe Jenny's got an un maybe Jenny's got two undead lions. <laughs> so, so let me ask again then. Who do you want to tell? I think we keep quiet for now, but we need to do s to figure out getting information on our own. Mm -hmm. Starting okay. with the split the party. <laughs> We're not a party yet. Whoa. Technically, we are. No. We're always a party. Okay. Okay. So they're in. So our, our we gotta we gotta we gotta get some information. But we can't just go out right and say, "Hey, have you heard about this thing?" We gotta be sneaky about it. We gotta be cool. We need to start with somebody who's been here for a while and see if we can 
see if we can get some more information. I want to see whose side. I've been here for a while. Well, somebody who's been here longer. Somebody who knows the knows the the head honcho, you know. So like personally, maybe he didn't make this bomb ass meal. <laughs> it is a bomb ass meal. You can really you can really feel the love in it. Which is weird considering he doesn't feel right. Right. That's so weird. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. I want to know. Well, we got we got to figure out what we what we want to know before. So, I want to know whose side we should be on. So we got to know more about the head honchos. You know. Okay. Like, are they rude? Did it? I bet they. I bet one of them beats up kids. I bet. Well, that wouldn't be us. Maybe. Like, have you seen those, uh, Catholic, or, uh, cleric schools? They totally have nuns beat the kids. That's what I was about to say. I'm pretty sure I've seen some pretty holy nuns beat the living snot. Yeah, I went to Catholic before. school. Um, <laughs> yeah. Catholic school. I almost was gonna say Catholic school, but I was like, wait, we're in D and D, so they went to cleric school. Oh Lord, cleric school, Zarathos, no. <laughs> but but that's the whole family friendly thing. Like, I would get the vibe. That would I know if he like actually likes kids or not based on just being around for 130 years? You would. I'd say after you know 130 years, actually you might not see him enough. He's not. It's not like you're just around him all the time. But then again, I mean, yeah, sure. Make a roll. Perception, intuition. Insight. Yeah. Sorry, I forget the the, the new it's translations. I'll never get used to it. Ten. <laughs> uh, nah. You don't think he does. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have that vibe from him. Well. But, let's, let's, let's finish up our food and let's go talk to people. Okay. Crunch, 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 crunch. Don't worry about it. That's that's why you didn't oh, know. God. I forgot I gotta set up my macros. No! Why didn't I transfer my macros? <laughs> so then do we find we find Gunther? 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 Yeah. All three are acceptable. <laughs> I'm gonna call you all three, so you better get used to it. <laughs> Just wait until you hear Gunther. Yeah, really gotta flip the R at the end to make it right. Gunther. 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 So we find him. Where is he? I lift things up and I put them down. Yeah. I think he's over setting up the tent, so let's go help him with that after we finish eating, so... Okay, okay. That sounds like a good plan as well. Oh, we got... Somebody said something about... Oh man, things are going haywire. <laughs> things are going haywire, and Gemini and I are just sitting here enjoying some fucking soup together. Which is a beautiful, revolution. which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> no, but which, uh, <clears throat> speaking of beautiful things, oh, uh, no. we have somebody joining in. I'm gonna call high on this roll. It's low. Okay, so I shake the I shake the the stupid chest that says waffles. Oh no, it's high. So I, I don't shake the, the chest that says waffles. I gently put it back in the tent. Okay, you notice it seems lighter than it has ever felt in the many, many years that you picked it up and put it down. Oh. Okay, I, I check inside. Ah, uh, there is nothing inside it for some reason. And what, and what did the note say? Open for waffles? Yep. That sounds like a very horrible trap. <laughs> I 
take the chest back to food prep and I start making waffles. There are waffles in the chest. <laughs> and wonderful. And somehow they are good. They're like not like old or like crumbly or like bad. It's like good waffle mix, just ready to go. Okay. I close the chest and I put the waffles into the tent. Alrighty, the waffles are now in the tent. I like right. how Alyssa and I were having a conversation. A whole bunch of stuff went on over there. Oh, just didn't know. nope, you guys were talking. Wait. Over where? To be fair, the rolls on the stealth were legit. My passive perception is 14. So. Mine's, mine's a gross 12. I don't want to talk about passive perception. <laughs> what is perception? Basically. Oh, actually, never mind. Passive perception is good. It's my passive investigation is trash. Oh, yeah. Uh, both mine are 14. My passive insight is 13. My insight and perception is 13. Is it this Meanwhile, my passive investigation is 9. Oof. Oh, you, you got that, um... Negative one's intelligence. Me too, bud! <laughs> that, that's why I said Wedge is a simple person. And this is why I went to Carly for help. <laughs> With my 14 intelligence, so I have a plus two. So, um, see, I'm smart enough not to just tell the whole party, but not quite smart enough not to keep it secret. Which is both good and bad. Exactly. That's okay, y'all haven't noticed anything yet, so it's all good. <laughs> Nothing's happening to make me notice, I can't tell. Are we finished eating? I mean, yes. are you? <laughs> yes, yes, we're finished eating. We go, we go to go help um, Gunther. Yeah, we go, we go talk to Gunther. We go over here. And when they leave, I leave like 10 feet behind them. Ten feet behind. That is not far. No, no, it's not. No, no, it's just with his undead. Yeah, I sit there and I wait for the troop to be done eating, and then I go with the troop back to the tent. That's my routine. Yeah, that's. Hey. Yeah, I was on. I was on the. I was by the table over there. Yeah, it was like within thirty feet. My lion eating. Okay, I wanted to know if you were like if you were like Gunther and didn't actually eat anything. No, we we just. We just eat on Earth. We don't really care for tables. While we're walking over to the tent to where we know Gunther, oh. I zoom it out. I'm gonna put you back beside you. Where are you? I'm I'm walking. I'm just moving. I haven't moved them yet. Okay, go back. Go back. Ah. Oh, oh, Jesus! People are teleporting all over the place. It's fine. Okay, so I. I talk over to Carly, I'm like, you're better with words. You do the talk. I'll chime in where necessary. Okay, okay. Do I... Okay, this is gonna sound stupid. Do I notice them walking ten feet behind me? <laughs> well, they're not... They didn't roll stealth, I assume. So... And your passive perception is, you know, pretty decent. I'd so say... I just, yeah. Look at them. I look at them and walk a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanna, I, I just wonder, is this even like a weird, is this almost like a daily thing? This happens yeah, every day. Is this... before, I, before I react, is this a weird thing? That is, I don't know, is this a weird, does, <laughs> is this something this is, they do? This is Avitas and Drago's routine. Yep. Okay, cool, then I don't react. When, when the rest of the troop is done, we're usually done eating pretty quick, but then we just go back with the group. I think it'd be funnier if you just still both you still reacted every day. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at them every day, just following just, me. Just, just like why? You, you, just, you just walk behind me every day for the last hundred and six years. No, <laughs> I'm thirty-five. Excuse me. Yeah, she's still fairly new. I'm a baby. I'm, I'm All right. eighteen. And. Okay, okay, okay. So, I walk into the tent and I find, I find Gunther. 
He's standing, staring at the ground. He looks dead. Are, are, are you okay? You made this great food. I gotta say thank you. His entire body kind of shimmers real quick, and then you hear this like sound, and I look at you. Good afternoon. Is there something else? No, I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, of course. I mean, he's everyone else. Oh, thank you. You know, I actually I did have a question. I wanted to I wanted to know a little bit more about you know the the leadership here because I, I you know what I feel like there's really a, a path for for uh climbing the ladder of hierarchy here i wanted to know a little bit more about uh zathros and jen denny and J J jen Barama. the bard speaks it perfectly ah uh, yes the trinity of the carnival uh, yes, you, you have Zarathos, the leader of the mask. Uh, he, he's, of course, on the east side of the carnival. Um, Jen really enjoys family entertainment, but... I thought Jenny was on the east. We're all to uh, the east. Oh, we're the east? Okay, we're the east. I basically just repeat the information <laughs> that she just gave you. Okay. But I already um, knew all that. Oh. I want to know, I want to know, like, fun stuff, you know? Like, what are they like? Do, have you met them? Many times. What are they like? I'm not really sure how to answer that. Uh, Generac is cold and distant and has a tendency to enjoy the twisted, while Zathros is high and mighty and like most clerics. Hmm. That's so interesting. I, I really don't know much more than that, other than they have been here since just about the beginning. Hmm. Do they, do they, I know they don't get along, but is there like, is our, do they like have like, how am I, how do I want to phrase this? They, they fight like kittens over warm milk. That is a better way of explaining this. They, they, they fight over the same resources. Not so much with each other, other than, We'll say pranks. Pranks? What kind of pranks? Well, I, I do believe... Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do believe Janrak at one time did leave a, 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 a bloody child's under things outside of the place of Zathros, and of course Zathros went on a angered rant and of vengeance trying to find whoever er injured this poor defenseless little child only to find out that it was in fact one of the hobby holes attendants on her monthlies <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow i love the joke love it so you know things like that um also, Zathros has a tendency to exchange Janorex, uh dwarf spirits with holy water. Oh. Does she, like, burn when she drinks it? Oh, Janorex a lit lich, so most certainly. Ah. Oh. It's kind of like acid, but then, she, but, but then Janorex just regens it, so no harm, no foul. Plot twist! It's a holy lich. <laughs> 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 the holy water is only making her stronger. <laughs> <laughs> wow! But do you know of any like any spats going on now? Uh, I, I I don't know. It, it very well could be that Zathros consecrated Daenerys' favorite chair last week. Hmm. But nothing like. What about their supporters? Are there are like we know we're th divided into factions. Are are the factions going into? Oh, there's 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 much more going here on here at the whatever meet the eye. It's all just a matter. It's all a matter of what you wish to get out of the carnival. Both the attendants and those who run the show, so to speak. We all serve our different uh, ethos. 
So whether or not you're here for the dark and the twisted, or you're here for the holy and fulfilling, will depend on perhaps who you choose. But again, okay. the, the trinity of the carnival is everything. The trinity? Trinity means yeah. three, right? Um, I, I do believe it. Like I said, it is the trinity of the car carnival. You have the good, the, the evil, and what, what sits between. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, okay. I thought there was a third person all the and, time, and I was uh, really confused. And at that point, you uh, hear somebody fumbling basically from around the corner, and uh, you see... Oh, sorry. Got to make sure they're on the right layer. Boop, 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 boop. I hope I'm right. <laughs> and now I have to get on the right layer. God damn it. That's the only thing. You switch it from one layer, then you got to switch layers. <laughs> But uh, this giant six-armed serpent lady starts r walking up. Um. And do have we recognized? Do I know this? You should know her in passing. I would say that uh, Gunter knows them a little bit better. Uh, anyone who's been there a while obviously would know them decently. Okay. But uh, this, you know, Merilith oh, in front okay. of you, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, has is uh God, I think it was Paez. Why are you taking damage? P Wait, someone did take damage. What the hell? Yeah, I saw that it was uh, I didn't I didn't do it, but I saw that. I try to I, I try to uh use one of my instruments to make a snake charming song of twelve. <laughs> Okay, uh, Paez looks then. slightly annoyed at you. She says, you really need to stop doing that every time you see me. I stop. <laughs> From a fellow bard, I appreciate the play, though. She, she also looks over and says, it was good. And, like, her head's still kind of, like, shaking. Kind of like a snake's wood. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time, hit me up. I'll assist. Also, for future referencing, because I thought I typed it in, but I did not. That is the name. Uh, does she look like she is hungry? A little bit. I try to feed her a rat. <laughs> she looks up at you and she says, One of these days, you will remember not to do these things. I'm simply looking out for your general welfare. And how long has Gunther been around... If he doesn't get it by now, he's not going to get it. You just see Pius sigh heavily, and it's like I know, but a demon can dream. Is it is it a live rat or a cooked rat? No, no, it's a live rat. You don't. I I, I look directly at you as you're as you're looking at the rat. No, it's a it's a live rat. You would ins, you would insult the, the 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 creature, the reptile, if you were to ever feed it fake prey um it's actually the hunt that they desire not so much the nutrition you you see three of the hands face palm and just i've told you several times i am a demon not a snake <laughs> so wait who, wait who is this pay 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 so uh you would know Paez as basically the overarching reading leader of your area so okay that's what i thought yeah uh, Why, who's merilith Merilith is the uh, race of demon. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, 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 it's cool. It sounds like a name. I thought it was too for a while. Super yeah, sounds like a name. Like my grandma's nope, name, it, it it is super. It's M A R I L I T H, uh, and it is a demon. But uh, to give a description, so that I mean, it kind of looks like the picture. They got a good picture, but it is you know a six-armed uh, female with the. Th tail of a snake uh sometimes long claws and other snake-like appendages with the ability to use magic etc blah 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 uh, uh and sh this particular merilith is a juggler so you see that she has clubs in her hand well some of her hands so you rolled a 23 on a smell perception check for the rat and is I mean, once over, so <laughs> wants to go eat the rat. I mean, that is definitely up to <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, that's a good perception Pius, check for that. I just turned down the rat. I, I we are back, guys. The rat over. Oh, goodness, I, mean, I gotta get back to this page. Over, though, I 
I very mechanically bow at my waist very cheaply and then very well may ring you what brings you to our tent today syncopation at your service ah yes syncopation i still don't know what that word means but i like the name and she just throws throws a club in the air like with two hands while she's talking to you while the other I four go into, i go into a very deep and methodical explanation as to musical theory and, and how patient falls into it and as you do that she's like now that he's doing that again because she basically knows exactly how to get you to like, i can actually explain i can actually explain what's going on so uh unfortunately uh we are a little short-staffed. One of our troops, for some reason, dropped out last night in the middle of the night with no warning and left us with an empty spot. So we are going to have to work double time because it is the 500th anniversary today. Tonight. Today? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was tomorrow. Yeah, we did too. But we were wrong. Well, Damn. yeah. It is gonna be a bad time. You feel like, I feel like the promotional, the promotional material really should have, uh, should have picked up some slack here. Yes, we've really dropped the ball here. Really, it was our intern Steve. He had the wrong calendar. Fucking Steve. Yeah. You can never trust hobgoblins. <laughs> anyway. Uh, halflings so, can never trust. No, they always get second chances, so they're fine when you have to get, you know, rely on something. Just don't expect to get one over on them, lucky bastards. And so you see, according to magical theory, this is a play on words as well as actual musical theory, and, and hence the true name. It's like, I appreciate that, Gunter. Do you think you could tell me about modes again? I, I remember you told me about those once. I go into a long <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is like anyway uh once he's done i want you to inform him that in addition to your regular night's facilities you know uh you're going to have to help with three of the acts tonight three yes okay. i apologize i know it is not your job and i know that you usually would not get a pay of the commission for it but we are willing to pay you a small stipend of the missing troops commission what's happening to the rest of the commission well we had to set up the tent and find all the people and organize it so okay. we we ended up taking most of the rest of that commission fine fine, fine. <laughs> she's <laughs> meanwhile she's still juggling with two hands while like two hands are also on her hip and the other two hands are like crossed over each other if it makes any sense but she's just like, in any case, me and the juggling tent are expecting a big turnout as usual, and we will be along to help with the last act of the night. However, those first two acts need to go out flawlessly, or there may be some troubles. Mm. Count on us. Count okay. on us. Okay. And there you see young snake lady ma'am sir uh that is how this works i've never really understood how to sex reptiles Miffle man you speak too much one day he'll understand my ears don't hear those frequencies <laughs> it just walks away <laughs> uh i love that it's, it's always like they do it's just like they're they're weird bones they they're big ear they hear all the frequencies. Anyway, I'm trying to. There we go. Nope, that that didn't do what I thought it did. Da, da, da. All right. Anyway, there you go, guys. Have fun. You've... So we need to make some acts. Why do we need to ma make acts? Oh right, you were okay doing your thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm we gotta. I'm joking. I can multitask. All so, right. Cool. However. I was <laughs> I'm, I'm not as simple as he likes to believe, but it makes him feel better at night. So we need to make three acts. I can't, I can't really tell. <laughs> you just, you just hear an angry snake from several dozen yards away. Just, god damn it. You know there's a cloaca, but I just, I don't, like, there's ducks. I... Isn't that their poop bone? Why are you looking at the poop bone? Like I said, it... I've never really understood how to sex reptiles. There's a lot of organs involved. I just... 
Yes, you you look like you know very much about organs. <laughs> I I dully thump on my chest as it echoes and reverberates inside of me. Exactly. <laughs> so we need to come up with three acts. Do we know what acts we need to come up with? And do we know what troop is missing? That's a good question. There is a uh, there is a list on the floor. <laughs> okay, I pick up the list. Uh, the list uh, says one uh, open slot, two okay. elephants, three. Oh no, not for me! Yes, I hate it. Yes, isn't it? I have an elephant. Yeah, an elephant. Oh. What? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm a tamer. <laughs> this makes me so happy. I don't know what's happening. I just came in, but I heard elephant. Black dragon. Oh. Black dragon. Black, dra black, black dragon. dragon. Okay, okay, that's not what I thought it was. Never mind. Okay. Yes, yes. Black dragon, not bad dragon. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa, I don't see you laughing, so don't Google it. <laughs> Jesus, yes, don't. Don't, don't. Google, it. <laughs> <laughs> don't Google no. Bad Dragon, is all I'm gonna say. Let's go back to your elephants. Back no, to does elephants. It list, does it list the missing troop? Uh, it, it lists these as basically uh, acts that were all being covered by the missing troop, but it doesn't list the missing troop. Their name's been crossed out. Do I know of any missing troop that covers these three slots? Uh, currently, you know of one troop, basically, that covers these slots, so you're assuming that that is the troop that has been, uh, thing. And the thing would be that the troop themselves would have been using materials, basically, from the carnival. So, like, the carnival provides whatever you need for your act, gotcha. with, with um, the, the exception of personal animals. So, like, obviously, you know, undead lion. Got you. So, did they have a name? Yes. Okay. Do, do you have a name, or am I coming up with one? I don't have one, but you can definitely... I could also come up with one real quick, but that's they, up to you. They're, they're now officially known as the Yellow Bellies. Yay! Okay. So, we I'm have an open slot. We need elephants, but it doesn't say what type of elephants, and Black Dragon. Uh, do I know if the Black Dragon was a combat? So, uh... You don't, but it seems like something that you would have known. You know what I mean? It's, 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 the, the, it's the carnival. Like, carny people are carny people, even with yeah. their different factions. I, I would think something like a black dragon would probably be something more of like a sideshow type thing of like, hey, show it off, get in there, don't die, get it to do a couple of things, but otherwise get out. Like, they don't expect you to kill a black dragon because yeah, black I, dragon yeah, I would assume that that is definitely the case. And I would think of that in all of the things that you're doing while you're here. So there could be, you know, any number of bad or good things that happen. But for, you know, uh, yeah, definitely probably are not killing the black dragon. And also remember, this is a carnival that it, you know, things can be deceiving. Same with like elephants. Elephants could be elephants. Or yeah, they could be dire elephants, or they could be mammoths, or they could be... Or they can be really, really fat. Okay. Yeah, it could be a super, super, super fat. Black dragons are nature or arcana? Ah. Uh, I guess technically both, because they're magic and nature. They're magic of a magical nature. <laughs> Okay, so I rolled a nine on information on a black dragon, so I'm, I'm gonna assume I don't know anything on a black dragon. Uh, um, currently you I... don't. However, I, I, that's what's the next thing. Is, does it, do any of you know what type of breath a black dragon has? Can I look over his shoulder and look at the piece of paper and look at black dragon and then figure out what it is? Yeah. You said nature or arcana. Yeah. I think both, both of those would work. Three. Both oh, plus then. three doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's a two plus three, uh, five. I don't know shit. You know it has scales. It's probably scaly. <laughs> I bet it's black. 
You know, you're on to something here. Mm. You're on to something. Uh, do any of you, have, the rest of you, know any, of anything of Black Dragons? Uh, at the mention of Black Dragons, I'll make a nature check. Seventeen, no, fifteen. So you would know, one thing you would know off the bat, just even having been here maybe for the limited time, is that there wouldn't really be able to contain a black dragon, like a fully grown, like ancient black dragon at this carnival. Right. They just don't have the means to. Right, yeah. It's probably just a smaller black dragon of some kind. And it's just a little illusion. It could also be that. That was going to be. That's actually was my thought. Is that I, I do have minor illusion, so I could that's easily right. step. Okay, so then actually you could probably handle the black dragon, agitate it, get it to do a couple of things, stay outside the cage, um, and then just kind of put on a nice show. Um, we have a nice little undog puppy here. Uh, I'm sure you guys. Can he is a big cat. Okay. He's called a dog. Well, you guys could figure out some sort of good show to put on for the open slot, right? I can easily do that, yes. And I'm sure I can drag and lead some elephants around while we have our trapeze artists put on a better show above. I can make something work. Wait, isn't don't we have like a that open slot? What are we gonna do in the open slot? Wait, wait this for me to decide. I will okay. take care of it. Cool, 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 cool. Don't we also have a a sharpshooter guy? What's the new guy? Yeah, where is the new guy? It new should guy? be the something sh- y'all guy. have not noticed. That new guy was not at the table where he originally was. <laughs> well, someone did mention that a little bit earlier. Did they were like, know, didn't he go did somewhere? Who, <laughs> did that, who, if at this point, would that be who we think um, Payez was talking about? Because she said that that's, that somebody was missing? No, it would have been a whole nother troop that went missing. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a whole troop. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the yellow bellies. Gotcha. Damn yellow bellies. Okay, I start yelling for new guy. New guy, where's new guy? Oi, new guy! Uh, we'll go prepare. You find new guy. Well, let's I'll find new guy. You're, you're sitting there, you're shouting and everything. I'm assuming you right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna hear you for 330 feet away. Whoa. Okay, so I this walk a... around a little bit. Yeah, I go I go with her because I know what you guy does, right? Ish. I, you know, yeah, ish. Yeah, so Jem has an idea, so she wants to go find you guy. I follow along. So we go and walk with, we go and walk along looking for a new guy. New guy. New guy. So New as guy. you as you come this I way, as we go through, nat twenty. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah, you're you're able to tell. You're like, uh, he never even can came over here. He's probably still way over by the. <laughs> right, so we start heading over to the food. 